So this is when you, yeah, when you got Mordred tied up. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large. I have just one thing to say to you. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't even know why Hamish, that. Hamish, you need to do one of your shit post uh, Twitter videos or like the you need to find a clip of that guy saying I have two on the nine. I like, just throw I just throw the cards up. Like oh, I'll have two uh, yeah. yeah, a number nine with extra ten of your knife blade. <laughs> Yeah. Number six can be the uh what's the reduced by three? Six attack one. Uh, uh I just deafened. Oops. Yeah. Oh. Wait, what's the next one? A number six with extra dip. <laughs> a number seven. A number, seven a number six be, uh, with extra dip is gotta yep. be what's it? The high the singing. What's what's it? The hit the high notes. Oh yeah, that yeah. new one. A number yeah. six with extra <laughs> dip. <laughs> All right. So good, man. Oh my days. Okay, let's, okay. let's do this. Let's do this. Hey let's, everyone. Let's do this. Are we started recording? Yeah, I've always hit recorded. Just oh, so always I can hit find some. Oh, we're in. We're in. Welcome back. Wait, wait, is this episode eighty, boys? Yes, it is. Episode eighty. That's insane. Eighty. We don't. Oh, that's 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 pretty impressive. Uh, it is. It is impressive. It Everyone's is. gonna think that we're still quite young, and I must remind everyone: it's every other week we rock up because there's some yeah. podcasts that have hit their hundredth episode, and I'm like, hang on a minute. It, you haven't been about that long, have you? Oh, it must be a hundred. Nearly four years, right? Four it... years to push the point next year. No, and we, and we haven't even hit a hundred episodes. We're doing something wrong. Yeah, because we only all record wrong. like 24, 25 a year. So that's true. There you go, everyone. Oof. Well, we never miss an episode apart from the ones we miss. So we uh, yeah. should we crack on with some beers? There's so much to talk about. I think we should because, because I'm it's room parched. blade time. It's room blade yeah. time. I'm Hamish, what are you drinking tonight? Well, to uh, celebrate. To celebrate, um, I thought nothing better than to uh, show off what my best friend Dale has given me. Hey, hey. 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 you did, yeah. It's the piss pistol in clouds with Crawford Arms and space pistol. Thank you, Dale. What about you, Simon? Uh, I'm still living on the Welsh beer, and I've got a Conwy Brewery Surfing IPA. Ooh, very nice. It's an American IPA, proudly crafted in Wales, 5.1%. Oh, lovely. And uh, what about you, Stick, Stick on, on trip. trip? Yeah. I've gone for a, a classic. It's a Beaver Town Neck Oil. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Um, just because it's quite warm today, so I wanted a nice cold beer. Mm. Uh, yeah, nice session IPA, but I, cheers, guys. I'm going to have myself a Corby cocktail, which is uh, paracetamol, paracetamol and beer. Oh, <laughs> what a cocktail. combo. <laughs> Wash that down. A Corby cocktail, we call it. <laughs> East Midlands Massive. East Midlands um, Massive. Cheers, boys. I cannot cheers, handle all these Rune Blade spoilers. It's giving me a headache. Well, before we get into... I thought you were going to say it was giving you something else. Then, oh, it's it? giving me... Uh, Simon, you're lucky you're not in bed with me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Right. I know. Settle down. I know Settle down. Oh. This is, this is, this is, they print some good Runeblade cards and Hamish um, just to his head. Mm. Uh, we got they, do, they do seem to be partners. printing some very good cards. We can't. We Who's can't, doing uh, the partners? We, we got. We got. We got. We got. We got to do our chores. We got to get them. We yeah, we got our, our chores. Dessert, you know what I'm saying? We've got, mm -hmm. to, we've got to eat our vegetables. This is our vegetables. Oh, we can talk about all this stuff. So, who's going to do it? Hamish, you going to do the. Oh, it's the wheel of time. <laughs> The Will of Time. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> and the winner. Oh, God. <laughs> is, I never get it. Uh, Jordi de Jong. Or Jordi de Jong. Oh. I don't have to catch your name. Sorry. Very good. Uh, an it, old time. Congratulations. Oh, um, my God. On, eight, on episode 80, you've won. 80. What have you won, six, Simon? Six packs of flesh and blood. Yeah. What other packs? Simon? Well, currently three packs of Crucible and War, uh, of War Unlimited, and three packs of Everfest. Oh, just in time. I don't to know. Do we grab. still call Everfest First Edition because they it only is. release like? Well, it yeah. Is. yeah, but yeah, it is. They have. They four, only they... release like four boxes no. of Unlimited. Yeah, they? forty boxes of Unlimited. It technically counts, Simon. It Wait, technically they did, counts. Did they, yeah. Did they actually release forty? They accidentally boxes? sent out some boxes. Yeah. There are oh, forty. Absolutely. There is rarer to see, and then it's like it's the rarest set they've ever made, which that's is ever so first Unlimited. Cool. I yeah. didn't know that. I know. Okay, well. Well done uh, to, 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 to Jordi and well done. Thank you, everybody who supported us. If you don't know, if you're a patron of Push the Point, 
of which Excuse there me. are many. Uh, we, we, we thank all of them for supporting this podcast. And if you are a patron, you get put into a giveaway every episode that's every two weeks to win six packs of flesh and blood. And all you have to do is to be a patron, three, five, ten pounds, however much you want to pay per month. Uh, and all that money goes towards supporting what we do here on Push the Point. Uh, but it's not the only benefit you get from being a Push the Point patron, is it, Hamish? No, it isn't, Trip. We've got three awesome partners. We've got Thistle Tavern, a Scottish single seller from Aberdeen, who has recently, uh, well, it's not so recently now, but they have a store over in Aberdeen now. Uh, they are they started off as a single seller, so they sell a variety of different card games. And of course, they sell some flesh and blood, and they do 10% off to push the point patrons. So if you want to mm. pick up the singles, specifically singles, not the sealed product there, uh, you if you're a patron, you get 10% off. And if you're in the Aberdeen okay. area, go check out their store. We've also got Malfab yeah. Tokens, which is an awesome uh, token provider to lots of different games, including flesh and blood. I have a load of uh, Malfab Tokens behind me which uh, i can send out to the people in the uk for royal mail prices and if you push the point patron i let you know about any goods that are coming my way before i tell the general public i've got it and we also have pcg which is a uk uh, card grader well it's not they've got an office in the uk it's a worldwide card grader and if you push the point patron your uh your pledge because gets turned into a voucher that you can use to uh get a uh, a voucher for your um, submissions that you would put in. So if you're a three pound patron, you get a three pound voucher and you've got to use it up in the quarter. And yes, it can add up um, to the end of the quarter, basically. So yeah, there's, that's our patrons. They're awesome. And you get six packs, you get loads of stuff and you get to ask questions whenever we do some awesome uh, interviews with Brian Gottley or you never know James White mm. or a developer. Um, there's a, a sick community in our Discord, so it's worthwhile getting on board. Yeah, and it's essentially free because you get your money back from if you if you send off for a PCG grading, and you get you know we got a new set coming up with Rosetta, perfect time to pick up some singles from Thistle Tavern. Uh, there's always a bit of a buzz when the set's about to come up. People can oh, going to use the their, uh, their, their discount. Uh, you basically get all your money back if you do it a decent a decent order at Thistle, which I often do. Uh, so it's always worth uh, considering joining uh, this time this time of the season. Uh, but we do we do hope you'll stick around. But uh, most people do actually, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, so uh, which is great. So yeah, we look forward to um, to to, it, to anybody who wishes to join. But uh, yeah, we'll do. Should we do a little bit of uh, home a little news? bit of home news? Home news. Home news. Home news. Home news. Home news. Okay, I have actually got one bit of news, right? <laughs> have you? I do. I have one. Because I okay. said at the start, I haven't got much, but I actually got a funny one. I went to the barbers. As you could probably tell, my moon face is on full display because full normally trim. I have a bit of a longer beard here. Anyway, so not really happy with my haircut. But I went for the special, right? So that means he, he goes, I'm going to wax your nose. I'm going to uh... wax your ears. Right. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I've had that before. I've had the fire in the ears. I've had all sorts, right? And they do something different every time. I swear to God, they just make it up as they go along. All right, this time around, waxing up the nose. I was like, yeah, 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 all good. And then he brings out a big popsicle stick, right, full of wax. And I thought, hang on, how's that getting in my earlobe? That's really large. Uh, Yeah, well, he didn't put it in my earlobe. He covered my ear in wax. My oh. whole ear. In wax. Oh. oh, indeed. And it hardened up. He pulls it out. Boo, boo. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then he peeled my ear, <laughs> all off my ear. It hurt like hell. And then. Um, oh, my God. Yeah. That sounds very. I'm not sure why, how I feel about that. Why? Oh, it was no. like waxing the outside. I don't of your know. Ear. I haven't got a hair on it. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I was hoping there shouldn't Smooth be too much like hair on your ear. Yeah. And then yeah. and then they washed my hair, which was kind of wild. And then I took my earplugs out and he actually he actually thumbed all in around oh. my ear. And I was like that. Well this is You've been violated. No, I liked it. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> it I was, was gonna say I'm glad you took your plugs out. I, I could have Well no, uh, it was given out it was given all round that I could have been. I was like, I think this guy I don't care, but I don't mind. I've I've got walked out glowing. In every way. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, treat. I'm 35. I'm 35. I felt four. I felt. I felt twenty. 
After oh, a like young man again. Oh. <laughs> I've only 34. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> one year. I travelled back in time. For oh, about back five one week he's in Amsterdam yeah. at a show, the next hey, week he's hey, in the hey. barber's hey. chair. <laughs> Wow, what a roller coaster life you lead, Hamish. Oh God, what a tell me about coaster. it. The, the guy is literally as he's washing my ears, going, "Oh, I love your episode of Push the Point." Mm, no, he didn't really. Anyway, Simon. Never, he never. He For did. a second, now it's like no. Yeah, it's yeah. The, t- we're, we're quite he's a pop- listener. He, pa- apparently, he's we're a quite. Listener. Yeah, we're pro- quite popular in Turkey. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna look at the the date. Wow. Yeah, go look I, at the date. I, I, uh, you, one listener from Turkey. Honestly, I like, go to yeah, every okay. Turkish barber, and they're all going. Hey, Mish. Hey, Mish. Has and anybody like, hey. ever? No one has ever. Anyone ever? So this is completely off the the record, the track of yeah. home news. But has anybody ever come up to you outside of a flesh right. and blood tournament and been like, "I really like the podcast"? No. Yeah. Who? I, I go. I go to a. Oh, well, no, does, you're lying. My, I can see. No, no, no. <laughs> does, does my club? Does my club count? No, that doesn't count. Uh, no. no. Like I'm talking. Like you're in the pub. And someone's like, oh, I recognize his voice. voice. And yeah, all the time. I feel like it's going to happen at some point. It's got to happen, right? Not for push like, the point, but they recognize me for another reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For many reasons. Are you so, you, 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 <laughs> Yeah, from push the point. <laughs> You're not allowed to do me. <laughs> you were barred two years ago. Uh, what do you mean? I'm from push the point. Oh, uh, no, you owe me money. Oh. Um. <laughs> anyway, Simon, what's your own news? Anything? Yeah. What have I been up to? I've been to Clacton on Sea on a family haven oh, holiday. Black. Wow, and, lovely! Um, Twelve of us descended on the haven holiday park. It was fine. The kids loved it. They ran around. It's like one of those holidays where you can did just you let ever, the kids look after themselves. Did you have an ice cream competition or something? So every time twelve of you seem to rock up in a space, it could no, be like some sort of lasagna. No competitions. All right. No, <laughs> not this time. Um, but I was in Dan's. Uh, I was in Tripp's neck of the woods yesterday hey, at, a, at a a music festival yeah, called All like Point a East. Uh, I thought uh, it was All Point East. Yeah, so you were in Vicky Park. Victoria I was Park. in Victoria Park. Lovely, lovely part of the world. Yeah, uh, I went the wrong way on the tube, so I went to Mile oh. End instead of Wanstead. Uh, so two stops away from Dan Tripp. Not far at been all. There. Um, um, and all, we chose yeah. to walk it back from Victoria Park through Olympic Park uh, yeah, after the gig. Walk. Was that regrettable? It was a lovely walk, actually. No, it was a canal. lovely walk. We didn't. We thought mm. the the canal towpath might be a bit dicey. In it's the very, pitch black. Uh, it gets quite busy. Um, or oh, uh, yeah, if it's pitch black. Yeah, you might get you might get, get you it might doesn't get, get busy. Me. It gets a bit robby. Get pushed. <laughs> get yeah. pushed in the canal. I've walked uh, in. It's not too bad. It's not too bad because there's a lot of people that live on the canal, and so there's actually quite a lot of people around. Okay, it's, it's 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 London in it. Stay on the stay, yeah. stay brightly there. No, no, it was fun. Uh, we saw the the main event was Death Cab for Cutie mm. and the Postal Service. If anyone is a fan of those, they played the Postal Service. Mm, I don't know. I watched. Yeah. I saw that. I saw what they did on Channel Four. Horizon Man. That was some dodgy stuff. Um, they did their seminal albums, Transatlanticism and Give Up. They played them Give for Give Up? That's for. ironic. That's yeah. what they told all the Postal Masters. <laughs> Hamish is on one tonight. <laughs> what a joke. What, what a, joke. What a dreadful That was a good one. British hey, come joke. Come on, that was that quick. Was so, yeah, that was pretty quick. It? It's quick. It's, it's quick. It was quick. Yeah, it's quick, man. Come on. Not all, anyway, not, I enjoyed it. It's not always good um, if it's quick, mate. Like, I, I enjoyed I it, and I just got home today. And... And then we've had uh, the spoiler release this evening yeah. just before we've come on air. So yeah. it's been pretty... We'll not that I had anything that. to do with it. We'll Hamish well did everything. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Trip, what did you get up to? And it's bank holiday weekend. I I went for a walk yesterday. We did a How big... many bottomless brunches have you done this weekend? Oh. Only one. Well, oh. I wasn't bottomless, but I only did one. I, I, it depends what you count as a brunch, right? Like I definitely did a brunch on... Well, by, uh, mo- by normal definition, it means you're probably having a breakfasty lunch around about eleven o'clock. Oh, most yeah, likely not a beer. Saturday, I did but have a brunch. Bre- but your brunch, I had are... a, um... <laughs> no, most of them are. I, that, that was a that was. I haven't had one. I haven't had a boozy one in a while. Well, I had two weeks. Um, but like um, <laughs> the one on <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> wire, my <laughs> six Simon's wire would probably be this year. Yeah, yeah. six yeah. months. Yeah. 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 I went to Dishoom for brunch. If anyone's ever oh, I love Dishoom. 
and I went to the Dishoom at Battersea Power Station, which is I've not been new. to that one. They've done it up. It's very swanky. It's a bit weird, uh, but it's very nice. It's very bougie, uh, but it was nice. And then I went to a great bar in Battersea Power Station uh, called Control Room B, which is in the old control room of Battersea Power Station. And nice. genuinely, if you're in Battersea Power Station for whatever reason, it's quite expensive, but they do a, a two... A, a shared cocktail between two people, which is in a miniature Battersea power station receptacle or vessel. And you drink out of the chimneys. You drink, no, you. that's exactly what I said, Siren. The fact you don't drink out of the chimneys, such a missed opportunity. Such a, a missed really, opportunity. It's a really tasty cocktail uh, and it was very nice. I would recommend it just for the spectacle, but it's a really cool venue. Amish's face really now says, very nice. what, what are, are you talking you about? about? Yeah. Incredible. What does Battersea power station look like? Well, no, I'm just oh, saying, no, I'm just sitting there thinking like, how the what how did that come up like how did you go hmm do you know what i fancy drinking in a power station is there, well, is, we there were... is there is there someone converted a power station into a bar lately yeah battersea yeah. has oh well there you go let's go that's 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 what well, i was thinking the reason why we went is because we went for a brunch it wasn't a bottomless brunch and after we had it we were like we really want to drink now oh yeah normally we'd be having a drink and we were like what's the closest bar and it was this bar in battersea. Oh, okay. in power station. oh yeah obviously but then was i didn't know Bottom i was a little bit lost when you went oh what a missed opportunity Dr- drinking from the chimneys i'm like yeah, well, we, it's what a little miniature vessel. It's a little, it's a cup. It's a yeah. cup shaped like Battersea Power, miniature Battersea Power Station. Oh, yeah. And, and then, Simon immediately picked up on, wouldn't it be amazing if the drink, straws you know, was, were in the yeah, chimney? Yeah. But they weren't in the chimneys. That's so they said really they only had stupid. two left because they kept getting nicked slash broken. So, ah, <laughs> so they only ah. had two things. Anyway, it was very fun. I had a good time. And apart from that, we, we cleared out, did a big clear out of the flat, did a big like spring clean. Uh, well, summer clean uh, yesterday. I went for a big one. And how was your roast dinner this evening, sir? Oh, well, well, hang on. Why are we talking about roast dinners? Well, I had a roast because, dinner this evening. Well, yeah, because well, he said he had that, a roast dinner. Well, there's no dinners. context. I didn't know you had a roast dinner. Well, yes, I, you well, did. It was on the group. Because I, I posted it? a message in the WhatsApp chat that said, uh, I'm having a big roast dinner today. So are you saying you didn't read that? I mean, no, so I didn't. You're just not reading the message. No, no, no. Hang on. No, I didn't. Anyway, so it was lovely. We had beef. Oh, good. And Kate made these massive Yorkshire puddings. They were they were really tasty. Beautiful. When... They were great, and she nailed the roast potatoes as well. Me and Kate are doing that is good home news tonight. So I think she can hear because we should have a headphone. He was talking about a roast dinner, not any other kind of roast, Hamish. I know where you've been lately. No, that's it. Right. Well, it is. Uh, so I switched off for a second now. Simon, <laughs> Simon's making accusations. Whoa, uh, what right? is going oh, on? I wow. Just, I had, oh, wow. I, 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 I had me th- ear thumbed. That's all. Chill out, right? <laughs> Bite your thumb. <laughs> talking these, about right? thumbing ears. Oh my god. Wow. These spoilers. Um. Oh, is that our transition? That's yeah. Fine, sure. Yeah, that's what I do when I'm oh. looking at spoilers. I've got my oh. thumbs jammed in like my ears. I was rolling like that. around, yeah. So Hamish uh, has been... I just want to say thank you least... to Hamish. Say thank you to Hamish for the spoiler. Because Hamish did yeah, the whole spoiler. Thank you, Hamish. Hamish. You're welcome. It was great. Twice in a row. I did the thumbnail. If you like the thumbnail, that was me. Thank that's you. That's Chip. Ch- when you're listening yeah. to this, this will be... The our spoiler will be old news by the time you get this. Our yeah. spoiler's cool, yeah. man. It's a really cool Our cut. Is well, awesome. I think I genuinely haven't seen uh, like a suite of cards yeah. that I've been this. Mm, yeah, I'd say that I've been this like, okay, all of these are, are cool. Uh, like yeah. banger design. I uh, Maybe that's just because I like the Rune Blade design. But I'm just like, yeah, I like so these we're, cards. So we're on, cool. we're, we're on Rune. So this is recording on Monday. We're on Rune Blade well, day, basically. But yeah. I just want to like, I want to say first off, thank you to LSS because mm-hmm. they're, there are much fewer spoilers this year before the set. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, well, within there, spoiler uh, season. Like, because... Be- before the premiere. It feels like a lot fewer. Well, I, it's hard to know because I remember their official website, which I haven't checked. I'll be straight honest. I actually haven't checked. But they put everyone who's going to mm. spoil that day and then there's a link and blah, blah, blah on their official website. But I don't remember seeing it because normally you can see okay. who's on yeah. the list. I'm just saying, I like. I feel like we're very privileged to oh, have privileged that, and it. um, yeah. and it's it's great. It it means a lot to us, and we continue to put out content for the UK for Flesh and Blood, and uh, yeah, it's nice to be recognised in that way. 
Oh no! It's, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah, the yeah. names are, are great. Like we're at three three floating was today. Uh, we have uh, like the card guys, the spike the, the, the and Ethan and Sloot Doob and stuff. Like it's great to be uh, still being able to do these spoilers and getting. And we got we got a rare this more. time round. I don't think that means anything. Sorry, I I, I don't. I, no, it's been, it, this is majestic. Said, majestic. Yeah. They said, did they say? Yeah, they did. Well, they did say that. Pretty much the majority of the majestic spoils will come out at Tampa Bay's world uh, premiere release. So everyone yeah. got their um, their their spoilers to be commons and rares. I know that free floating did get that majestic. A bit of me makes me think, and it's just sort of reading between the lines, not actually knowing. But their spoiler obviously got cut, kind of got jumped because someone posted up the 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 weapon really really early Ah. on so they obviously were like oh that was meant to be your spoiler so here is another here's a sort of you know a workaround spoiler just to go okay that's what it feels like because they're the only one that actually spoiled two cards and one of them was you know the the, um florian's the rockwood reaper the what the (laughs) say that really fast the what would weeper what would we be back? <laughs> uh, All right, Jonathan. Yeah. So, you know, that, but other than that, everyone's is a common and a rare. Like, you know, all the cards are mm-hmm. commons and rares. So the fact that we got a rare, well, Phil is like... And a really good thank rare. You. Like a really interesting rare. And a really card. good rare. Like, yeah, solid. Really, 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 really good. Like multiple triggers of creating a rune champ potentially really nice with mm. things like... Mordetide and Florian. Just and Florian. Think, oh, yeah, that, Florian, looking, just Florian. Like, Florian looks so much fun, man. Yeah. So much fun. I feel like really? Hamish will have been in a state of semi-permanent excitement all day today, like living on the edge. Oh, it was like, it, it's been really cool because I kind of like, because I had a wedding on Saturday. So obviously the, the weekend had the Battle Hard in San Diego mm. um, coming up, which congrats to Margin Bay for winning uh, with Kano. And then they had like two little spoilers there. And it just kind of went, oh. And I just had in my head, oh, yeah, our spoilers tomorrow. And I totally forgot, of course, everyone else's is. So I just Mm -hmm. woke up in the morning and it felt like Monarch all over again. You know, when you wake up and the the Discord is gone, ping, 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 ping. And then you go, the morning, the wake up in the morning to see the spoilers coming out. Mm. And then Faye's like, are you going to get out of bed? I'm like, I'm just consuming so much information right now and throughout the day yeah like just seeing but these it's not for cards. you it's ha- it, it's not just consuming them is it Hamish? like every card you see you're like how's that gonna fit in my deck like yeah it's also just seeing the like it's just the worth of it now of like yeah. because i think a lot of people are going to get super excited but you've got to sort of look at it like a lot of these will not make the cut they just won't. A lot of these cards will not make the cut getting in. And mm. most of them are mo- are like, you know, like, like our card. I'm just thinking of like something like Viscerai. You look at it and you sort of go, oh yeah, how am I going to get this to work? And I think the answer is don't. Like a three cost. Don't try yet. No, yeah. I mean, it's just not like you've got how many cards you've got really uh, uh, what? five or six blues that are free copies of. So you've got to think there's five or six blues you're going to put in your deck. Is this mm. going to outdo Vex in Malice and Blue mm. Shrill and, you know, or, you know what I mean? As Or that, that, that even that new card that came out was uh, uh, Hit the High Notes. Hit the High Notes blue. It's like, it's a one, well, the red is one for four. If you made an aura, mm. gets plus two. So it's coming for a one for six. That's really good. But you point, someone pointed out that's actually all right for blue as well. One for four, you yeah. Know, with skies, that's you know, that's blue shrill in a way. Well, it is blue shrill. Yeah, and it, and it and it plays into your two cost weapon really nicely. And I think that's, yeah, you know, it's like good math, and right? it's our card gonna compete with what Viscerai wants to do? And the answer is straight well, up. It's not a Viscerai card. It's not a Viscerai, Viscerai card. card, no. So, it's but a you could. Card. And does, does Florian want to play a, 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 a hit for seven with a potential upside? Probably, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like... yeah, he will. And it's there's a lot of cards that Viscerai 
and even Vincent. I mean, geez, oh, there's a lot of Vincent's eating good Mm. at the minute. And yeah, I think it's just sort of weighing it up and going, you know, what am I going to do? How does this work? What happens to all the old cars? It's like, you know, because they're still not rubbish and blah, blah, blah. Mm. We're only hitting Mm. commas and rares. And this is my summary of it so far. That I honestly don't think, and they, I mean, again, we're recording this Friday. They could release it throughout the week, and I'm totally wrong in my point. Um, but I don't think they're going to release this Rosetta weapon, like or a Rosetta equal weapon that Viserai was using for a long time prior. They, I think that what they're doing is going, we are kind of revamping Viserai's deck to go. We know these old cards do not synergize with Nebula Blade at all. Like, they're just mm. it's not very good. And all the one-cost ones are not... They're just not... They're just so not worth it at all. And you haven't got enough one-cost ones. So Florian really does work in that same sort of way that he wants to... Like, how do we get Viscera... Someone that needs to play an on attack action card creates rune chance, and there's value in these rune chance. And Florian... Well, it's also doing that, but Florian needs to put Earth cards in. So you kind of make you you're sort of hitting home two sort of camps, and mm. I think it's basically going Nebula Blade is the focus. That's what I'm seeing throughout this entire set is for Florian and and maybe Viscerai. How do we get Nebula Blade to work and be decent? Mm. We need to revamp what these decks do to make nebula blade yeah. good and if you make that work <coughs> Flor- <coughs> florian and viscerai have a have a have a future have like a fo- like a forward vision plus as well nebula blade is a gas as hell card is <laughs> is such yeah like it's actually nebula blade, been good nebula blade was incredible um and just the it's just um, the cost cards yeah rosetta thorn was just t- too good because it cost one less yeah. It did four damage and it did mixed damage, but Nebula Blade is a you know two cost presents five damage with the, if if it hits and makes a rune chart, and even if you don't play the non attack, it still you know hits hits for one and makes a rune chart on hit, which is a really nice ability, especially in Florian now where ten, you know if you're set up suddenly your Nebula Blade, and that's why I think it's a really interesting conversation. It's probably maybe the first conversation we can have, which is the new the new um, weapon for Florian. Uh, it already not... looks like it, it it's going to struggle against Nebula Blade because Nebula Blade synergizes so well with Florian's hero ability. Mm. It, do, it, it it does. It's not... I'm not even going to say that we should not, like... You shouldn't run Nebula Blade in Florian. I'm, like, it's very clear that Nebula Blade is the correct answer. But... It's a card. But I think it might... Well, it, the only thing that might be different is that if you don't play Nebula Blades, Florian becomes very less dependent on the non-attack and attack action synergy. Mm. If you went with Rockwood, that doesn't require your deck to have a certain amount of types of cards, and it actually just says, if you create an aura, an aura I get plus two. There's quite a few potential things away you can look at it and go, you know what, actually... I can have a lot more attack action cards in yeah. my deck that are earth related cards. It is not asking for 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 me to get warmongered either. You know, yeah. I, I could just play an attack action card that can create a thing if I do it and no my weapon's good, right? My weapon is pretty good. On the flip side as well, there's um there's some really interesting earth cards uh, so there's another set that's come out recently, which is the um, the new starter sets with the Terra mm. deck um, and the um, I think it's, yeah. it's the Aurora deck, right? Mm. Uh, the and first Terra's, strike deck. Terra's got some really interesting Earth cards that actually uh, synergize with <laughs> Nebula Blades really well as well, because they're Earth cards, they're Earth non attacks that say when you would gain when your your attack it doesn't specify attack actions. When Does your it not specify Earth? Power. No, it's when it would you your attack would gain. Um, I think it's. Uh, it's thrive, yeah, it, isn't it? If, uh, next if an attack would gain 
uh, power this turn. Instead, it gains that much plus one. And it, and also uh, flourish, which is the same, but it would um, if an attack would gain power, it that gains that much plus three. plus three. So that into Nebula Blade is representing something like seven damage for Nebula Blade on Hitmaker a rune char and it's an earth card that you want to play and get into your graveyard so that you can then banish it to get your yeah. florian ability online so there's some really nice interesting cards actually coming out in these starter sets which i think is really cool like you could potentially build like a you could actually build like a nebula blade themed florian deck that just looks to play non-attacks to uh buff up your nebula blade get those into the graveyard and then Try and banish those to then turn your Florian ability late game. So you start by playing a lot of Nebula Blade swings and then transition into making lots of rune shards in late game, which I think is like a really interesting way of playing the hero. And it's just cool to see these styles of play that are already. Um, it, I think those two cards is... are. Oh, sorry, go on. No. I was just going to say those two cards are an interesting look at the cost curve equivalents as well. Like Thrive mm. is if an attack would gain power this turn. Mm it gains plus one. That's active for the whole turn. Flourish is a one-off. Mm. Like, there's a reason there's one is in a Majestic and one is a rare. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, but the thing is as well, the the what did, the Majestic one is clearly designed for Terra because what mm. the Might tokens do, they are individual plus yeah. ones. So that, yeah. is it Thrive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was called Thrive. Thrive, but, yeah. Yeah, that is not going to do really much for, like, Nebula Blade that goes, oh, I get plus three. All right, well, that's yeah, yeah, plus yeah. one. That is plus one, plus one, plus one. Now it's plus two, plus two. Anyway. Yeah. But it, but uh, it, Flourish. Pretty, oh, flourish. Pretty, pretty I actually think that both Viscerai and, like you said, Viscerai and Florian are, in a way, kind of sharing. But mm. one of them is going, look, my hero bear is bonkers, which is Florian. Mm. Like, it's bonkers, yeah. but I, my deck restriction is Earth. And Viscera says, well, that's cool, because my deck restriction is non-attacks. Like, non-attack, mm. attack action cards. Like, I don't... I, I put them all as rune blades. I get a lot of early payoff, but you get a much better late game payoff. And it's that... In, but they're both centred around... Well, they don't even need to center around uh, Nebula Blade because I think everyone's going to be looking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like all these healing discard for minus mm. for plus two health, and you go, yeah, Reaping Blade, mate. And you go, oh, yeah. Reaping Blade's going to be big. Oh right? no! <laughs> it's it's the t I think this set is low key just the Rune Blades time to rise on, again, again, yeah, massive, again. yeah. And I think and again. It, it's. I think what's going to turn around is go. Holy crap! They've managed to really work through Vincent as well. Like, it's we're talking a lot about Viscerai here. They managed to make Vincent. They've, they've fleshed out Vincent's card pool oh massively, my, haven't they? Dude, they've 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 definitely squared that off. Like that. What well, I forget that, that that one that read the runes would go again. Oh wait, what, what wait, is wait, it called? Wait, wait. Oh, uh, De Deadwood Dirge is that one? Is it? Uh, is it? Yeah, Deadwood Dirge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> destroy an aura you control. If you do, create three rune giants. Mm -hmm. Importantly, go again. Importantly, like, as you were saying, Hamish, it's it's read the runes with go again. Basically, it's it's just the small little. It's just these small little things of when. You know, uh, what's I forgot what that flipping card is called. Um, uh, uh, the one that makes rune chance for 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 Vincent, uh, Screamer. We'll just call it Screamer because I remember mm. I can't remember the rest of it. Screamer. Uh, yeah, that if it if whoever to, well, for each per, to person that loses health, you gain a rune chance. So if I deal damage to you, which I have, and then I deal damage to myself, which I have, I'll end the chain. I get two rune chance. Yeah, cool. Oh, I, widespread. No, no, no. Annihilation. One, no, no, they're, they're the widespread ones. We're talking about the dre dead, dead wood screamer, or dread screamer, dread screamer. Right. That's it. And then you just go, okay, cool. I get two, mm. but it's still this like, oh, it's so awkward because I've only got two. Rune gate, I can only rune gate like cards that cost two. You could just throw out the big hits now with so much ease. It's just crazy. Even like I don't even know the like arcane cussing. I get when mm. you deal or have been yeah. dealt damage, destroy this. When this leaves the arena, your turn. Create three enchant tokens, and you will just damage yourself. 
because you will lose health. I've dealt damage. It is my turn. I lose damage to myself. There we go. Free rune chance ready for my rune gates for next turn. Oh, yeah. it just it's bro. It's so good. I think it's really I think it's really great that they've managed to print uh, a selection of cards that we're excited like I'm excited about these cards for Florian, like mm. Hamish is excited about these cards for Viserai and um everyone that's playing Vincent is also excited about these cards. And that's such a great design when you've printed Runeblade cards and every every hero is kind of happy, right? Like I think that's a great, great space. And I think what Hamish said earlier is really true is like Florian and Viserai and Vincent, they share they share a kind of style. Well, it's, it's, class. Really a it's style. the class. It's they share it? the class and a theme and a group of cards, but they play the game in a really different kind of mm. way. Like Viserai with its like cost reduction, like Vincent with this you know t ticking clock of having to essentially discard a card every turn, but this huge payoff through Rune Gate and Florian with essentially this hero ability that you want to is so strong you kind of have to build your deck mm. around it because the payoff is huge if you can if you can get the hero ability to be active that's really cool and i really like the space and i think you know we've well we've got one we've, more that no one yeah. none of us have mentioned once yet which we all forget aurora is a rune blade and yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I didn't even go, think of yeah. it i just don't think of it as a rune blade man like i maybe she will be maybe she'll play close she plays closer to like Briar. Like, oh, old school. They were like, wow, this this lightning Briar is really cool. And yeah. it's just like, yeah, I bet I bet it's great as well. I bet it's really I bet good. it'll be you really strong. Giving any attack action card in the game go again is really strong. Yeah. Like giving C and C. Well we know we know really that. Strong. I we know that. But we've been there before and we'll be there again. And I think she's gonna be great, but she doesn't excite me in the same way as like You know why? You know why uh, do you know why I think too. why? It's because when we talked about the other three heroes, there's this fundamental deck construction about it that, and, mm. and, and, and what Florian is doing really well to really remind you that this is the rune blade class is that it, it kind of ties into the rune chant, like rune chants, rune chants are rune blade. Yeah. Right? It is this, the two things, rune chants and non-attack actions and attack action card ratios. That mm. is the rune blade yeah. class. Aurora, you makes you sort of go. There is nothing really happening at the minute that's making me go rune chance. Uh, and maybe because we haven't seen it yet, we haven't seen it yet. But all these cards, you look at it and go, Vincent, Florian, Vin Viserai. They're they're the. This is the baseline. Bless you, yeah. Simon. This is the baseline. Um, rune blade style, and not one of them. Have you went? Yeah, Aurora will. Um, absolutely. Yeah go not so for this it's just it's is just it, briar but isn't briar it weird though like a rune blade at the time she just kind of just <sighs> went she, there was no arcane briar felt, damage thing going on it was just briar was felt weird. like a rune blade on the earth side to me no yes yeah on the earth because, side a hundred percent but lightning side it as you say it didn't really it felt like, a, it felt like it a interesting weird ninja isn't it interesting that all of the art styles for these, are, like for the Runeblade cards, obviously are quite clearly Runeblade. Or they're but just a lot of the Earth... <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of the Earth stuff is on that darker side as well. Like is it? we haven't talked about Seeds of Tomorrow. Is that dark? Seeds of Tomorrow is an Earth instant, but yeah. it looks like a it looks like a Runeblade card to me. Um, I think it look. I don't know. I mean, it looks like an Earth card to me. Like, like yeah, sure. Like, but but no. But I, what I'm, I'm saying is the lightning see... art style doesn't oh. resonate. No, the lightning art, the lightning art style. Uh, I, I don't. Maybe it, it kind of has this like death to it, which is like you know autumn's coming and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. I, I agree. The lightning's lightning. There's something that's so much about it that's like oh yeah, like lightning Lexi and and the lightning inspired Briar. So yeah, it is just. I don't know, a bit, man, bit. I think it's because lightning. I don't really associate the lightning with like magic. Yeah. Um, in the same way that with Rune Blade, it feels like you're channeling some kind of magic or some kind of spell. Unless while it's a the silly lightning though. just feels like you're just zapping people. But right? a silly though, 
Basilio is not a rune blade. No, I that it's a wizard. wizard. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like with 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 Viserai and with Vincent and with Farian, and I think it relates to like rune blade kind of being the edge lord cr- class as well. Yeah. Like there's like a there's like a darkness to his soul, you know. Man? Yeah, it's like a darkness, man. And that's the whole appeal of the rune blade. Of the rune blade class. Yeah. The emo energy. class. It like, is. Emo boy. Yeah. And Aurora's just there being like happy go lucky League of Legends character. I actually Fortnite. quite like the, like the design <laughs> of uh, uh, Aurora. I think she's really well designed. If yeah. Aurora could have been a lightning hero, that would have been sick. Well, um, she is. But, I, you know, but without, you know, the rune blade's just there. But I think it's, uh, I think it's fun enough, right? Like, I think it'll be really an interesting hero i think it'll be fun i just don't think it will play like the rune blades we know and love i i think weirdly enough um maybe that maybe we were just kind of looking like i don't i'm not sure how they're going to construct the spoiler season Mm. um because i don't even know how many days they're going through this it could be only three but it feels like today's rune blade day tomorrow might be wizard day maybe mm-hmm. like you know all these wizard n- generic wizard cards are thrown out there and then the last yeah. day is like here is a load of earth and lightning stuff and it may actually paint the picture of what aurora wants to do but i but i, I think to be honest i think we all really know it's zero cost comes in for four on hit deal more damage everything has go again is yeah she that's wants it. to go she wants to go again and she wants to use the she wants to be able to give any attack action card in the game go again which is really strong like there's probably ways of building aurora which are pr- completely unexpected because of essentially the 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 chain hero ability right uh, i was mean, it's, it's better than chain right it's like give anything go again right give any attack action in the game go again and that's no, no, so it's good not quite chain chain is give Chains, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said. I thought hers. You said hers was more stronger than Chain. I was like, no, but it's it's, (laughs) well, it's stronger in the sense that she can give any attack action in the game go again. But hers cost. Hers has got a huge cost of two resources, and you have to fulfill a condition. I mean, it's a condition she wants to do. She wants to run lightning cards. She wants to play lightning cards. But that's still a condition. You're talking. You're gonna have to have three cards to do anything really good because you wanna. You gotta play a card. You gotta make a. Uh, 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 embodiment of lightning so you got to pitch a card and you got to then use your embodiment of lightning if you want to do it all in one turn so you got a lot you got to have a lot of cards and heroes that need a lot of cards they tend to not want to block and that leads to a very specific play style of being very aggressive maybe uh, which we which we already have a lot of in flesh and blood we have a lot of aggressive decks already so or well, maybe like like briar briar had these game turns where the strength come from on hit draw a card and then you drew another mm. card and it was the channel mount heroic sort of lightning like weaved into the lightning side i'm curious if there's something that will come around that will go actually we just keep pumping and pumping and going and going because on hit like you know like the plunder runnish effect of things i don't know well, my my thinking is can you play the my worry i guess actually because i wouldn't want to see this is can you play florian like that is there a world where you can play uh you can play a a, a channel mount heroic florian deck and you can just yeah. use all the generic go again and you can just play channel mount heroic like i think you, you i know i think you could but you got to turn around and first go well how many of these are going to put in my deck and then none of them are going to if they go in the bin are going to mm. get the hero ability active. So mm. I think he, he's he got to sort of work on the, I need a number of earth cards and I need a number of decomposed cards. More mm. on that in a second with that, stu- that and no, not so defense reaction. You know, mm. there needs to be this. Is that being officially spoiled, by the way? It will be officially spoiled on the twenty eighth. So by the time, it's, yeah. So yeah, we'll be <laughs> just yeah. checking. Yeah. Well, no, every, I think everything will be out by the well, by it's Friday. Been officially, and the answer to that question is yes, it has. Listener, yes. push the point on so Friday. We've got, we've got <laughs> spring. <laughs> we've got spring tomorrow, and we've got summer on the twenty eighth. Yeah, 28th, yeah, yeah right? so it's all out. Yeah, yeah. it's all out by the time. But yeah, no, that. Well, so... Can we talk about that defense reaction? Because oh. that so it completely ties. 
Florian together. It does. It is. It's... It allows you to banish three cards. Two of them have to be Earth. One of them, the third one, could also be it has Earth. Has to be an action it's card. Be... It has to be. Is it? Is that action or is it? No, it's an anyway. action card. So two Earth cards and an action card. So very specifically, it, it really doesn't matter because they're... we've seen some Earth instants. There's your Earth card. And then the action card is probably an earth card, right? Let's be honest. And you want to be... So this is what I'm saying. With, like, Aurora, you want to be doing these big hands because you need a lot of cards. Florian is very happy to just be throwing sevens at you, right? And taking his time and wake, making blocking with cards so he can but, get them into the grave. And then he can then use this defense reaction to banish a bunch of them. And then he can get to the magic eight the decompose. Suddenly yeah. in the late game, bro, Mordred tied every turn. Bro, the flipping, like... It's, uh, when was the last apart from fate for scene a zero for four defense reaction and i know there's the cost you've got to put the cards in the banish zone but let's be real that's gonna happen so you yeah. have got a third copy of sink below <laughs> and in the hit and in the class that has um the sigil. Uh, embodiments zap, has that <laughs> sigil of suffering right which is, a, which, suffering, is a, yeah. which is in a, in a, in a which is, uh, zero, for right? zero for four. Zero for four. Zero for three plus one run, damage. Right? So zero Twelve for... zero for four defense. Zero for four defense. Oh no! To, yeah, maybe I know we'll reduce the enchant counts, but do you know what I mean? Though it's a zero, a re, a true zero. Yeah. No, and I guess reduce the rune chant is nuts in Florian late game. We make two rune chants. From reduce the rune <sighs> chant. It's just yeah. oh my like, God. Hamish hadn't even thought of it. And, oh and, 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 we've just got this zero cost prevent five damage across the turn. So Florian well, can tank. Well, no, so it's, it's not, tank. but it's not a true zero cost. Is it, 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 no, you you have, have, it's, it's an arsenal uh, cost. It, 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 it is, it is a, it's really good. Yeah, it's it, really good. It is a one, one for five. One, it, Imagine that against Den. Like, that's probably your only way of, you know, to actually do some stuff so, against Den. Just be like, yeah, while we're on the Rune Blade, chatter uh -huh. can we segue into split cards because there's been yeah, a really oh. interesting expansion slot split card released oh that card's broken but it's fine because it's living legend yeah so there's an expansion card that is basically a briar card right we've got an yeah. earth rune blade action and a lightning instant in one card yeah so it's an earth lightning so it's so it's pulse of candle holds. it's briar it's briar but you can have three copies of it, sure. And it's basically yeah. blossoming Miss Vale, if you remember that. But what does the card do, Simon? So the Earth Runeblade action says, return an attack action card with cost less than X from your graveyard to your hand, hand. where X is the total arcane damage you've dealt to opposing heroes this turn. Go again. And the lightning instant is shock, which is... Deal one arcane damage to any target. But it's a, and it's also more importantly, it's a blue. What? It's, it's a blue. It's a zero cost. Zero cost. Block three. It's, it's it's ridiculous. It's, it is mental. It is mental. It is so. so for context, all you have to do for people who might have not read it, you all you gotta do is deal, one, is deal one. Uh, one that one. You can use the arcane damage from the card itself. And you can bring back your swarmings. You can bring back yeah. your zero for fours. To your, your hand, grave. not to your hand. deck. So to that your is hand. any card you in your graveyard that's like a zero. And hey, maybe you actually <laughs> run some costly and, cards and, in your and you in your briar deck, and you could get them back. And yeah. you so you could just you you'd play attack, play play a non attack action card, mm. and then yeah, you've got lightning up or whatever. I'm sure just play an attack. Yeah, they'll play with zero for four. They'll block it. They'll take one, or. Well, I don't know, whatever, because it's arcane damage. Then you play this card, you bring back that card back to your hand, and then you make a lightning token because you've just played two non-attack action cards, and or maybe you just want to fuse with it with blossoming because you got that blossoming spell, blossoming blade. spell blade, yeah, yeah. Big, which required, which was so, it was such a cool card. It was actually really strong, but very hard to pull off because you actually have pulse of candle hold in your hand. Yeah, it's never going to work. But now you've got four pulse of candle holds. <laughs> so apart from this being a bit of a busted expansion slot, living legend because it is living legend. Briar's gone in CC. So, but yeah, what what do you think about split cards or this meld keyword in general? So meld being you may play one or both halves of this card. Each costs the cost of the card. So 
what do we think about split cards? Uh, I think they're great. Yeah, they're really cool. They're really cool. Um, I think they look good i have no. yet to see them in real life i don't uh, so uh, i don't I want to see them and see if they look good because i've not seen a physical split card in real life so um it might be a bit weird to have in your hand but uh because it'll be like sideways so that's a bit odd but i like the idea i like that they're trying something different you know and like yeah i think it's uh i think i like the way they're doing it i like the way the two sides synergize with each other i think this is a really good example there's some more simple ones that they've uh, spoiled earlier on, which are kind of like, you know, do a little bit yeah. of damage, play an on attack. I think well, it's a lot really, of shock, isn't it? Yeah, like it's really interesting for, uh, I think they're a lot, I quite like um, the wizard ones more. Um, the way they yeah. combine an instant and an action is a really clever way of, <laughs> I mean, because um, the, is it Ocilio? I can't even yeah, remember the guy's it, name. Yeah. Lightning yeah. Robot Man. Um, it is a cares about getting rid of instants so that's a really good way of having instants and non-attacks in the same card um, and I can see it being that how it could be really interesting design space for Kano as well because it allows you to play instants in your deck well no that they're lying that don't what's it, that? Kano can't have it yeah no, I know I know I'm saying it would be uh, it would be conditional um, it would be a really interesting design space for a Kano hero as well because you could have instants in your deck that don't break your hero power if they're at the top of your deck because they're still non-attacks as well as being instants. So I think that's really interesting. I think that's cool. I can see them having a lot of application for the future. I hope they don't print too many of them. No. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want this to... I, I, you know, I think it could be an evergreen type of printing, but I don't think I want them in every set. Like I think that would get a, yeah. bit, a bit too much to have, you know, essentially... I don't think they will. Just, you know. I, don't, I, I don't think they will. I think it's, mm. this is a Rosetta thing, like Chi, you know, um, Chi's... Okay, yeah, was, yeah. Chi became its thing. Um, I, actually, how often have they ever really... Well, maybe I'm going to get this totally wrong, but when have they kind of returned a theme of a set back to... and said, run it again, like fully run it again in a draftable set? Well, I guess set. this set... To well, no, honest. but like this set a few, doesn't really fuse talents. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just it's just they, the earth and yeah, they don't lightning yeah. have come back. This, this is elemental, fuse, but there's right. not a you're fuse right. mechanic, right? You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. So, uh, so, but it, so here's my gripe. It, Can I give you a gripe? Gripe me, gripe me. Give us a gripe. Uh, I so the one thing I was a little bit worried about, which they've, which I when I saw Brian at Amsterdam, he said he just reassured me to say, look, the other half. That's that is like the instant side. It's life and shock. Like, don't. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, life yeah. and shock. I don't know if they actually ever have they done anything other than life and shock. No, I don't think so. I think it's all life and shock. Um, so that's fine. So I don't have to sit there and go, "Ooh, what? What, what is it? What is it?" My little thing is that obviously we're going to put it. This might seem a bit silly, but the way we're going to put it into the sleeve, when you draw the card. The card that you want is going to be at the bottom of where your thumb and fingers are. And I know I'm probably being a little bit petty here, but how are you going to give away that you're just having a quick check on your card without your head going like that <laughs> and or doing this a little and then, then kind of giving it away? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. got a split card in your hand, which you probably, you know, it's like the likelihood is you have got a split card in your hand. But do you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, hang on. And I actually did always think that the library and all of that rocking up it's fine because there's only one copy in your deck so you just immediately know it's that one card mm. and you don't have to read into it too much but maybe half your deck is that and you're kind of gone a bit like um i don't know it's so new yeah i'm kind of going i i think it's cool but it feels kind of don't know mm. i don't know if i like it Whereas the cheese okay. stuff, I've seen people turn and go, oh, I don't like turning my card around. I'm like, yeah, but I've been through this before. It's not that bad when we had the not dragons. Terrible, yeah. No, when we had the dragons, it was kind of weird when we saw the dragons. Everyone's going to go, oh my God, what would we do? It's like, no. Mm. And this is way better than that, right? You're not turning cards around in your no, that's yeah. sleeve. No, it is better it's for just... that. But I think as and well... And if you're not like Hamish and you can actually read sideways, I don't know what he's talking about. He's being like, he's got to be like this all the time. He can't read sideways. It's just no. look, just 
you just look at it. You can just read the. Can you not look, read sideways? Look, look, look. I, it's just my. You're asking me. He doesn't English. want to. That's what he doesn't is. want to. He doesn't uh, want to read sideways. He doesn't want to have to learn how to just read something sideways. You know. I know, but I think as well. Um, I don't. Sorry, you know. I, I you know. What I'm actually thinking Fab DB. Yeah. <laughs> Not Fab Fab is dead. Man. Oh, that's dead. Fabry, Sorry, right? Fab yeah, that's Fab You know, Boomer, Fab, right? you, you, yeah, yeah. I used to really hate going like that in Fab. Yeah, Boomer. I know what you mean. I, I, I just do wanna, know what you mean. I just want to, but then, yeah. Anyway, it's just Get different. good, Hamish. It's, um, ju it's just different, and the meld thing. I think a lot of people are going to look at this and go, "I don't get it." And you're right. No, I, they will. I think a lot of new people will go, "I don't get it." Like mm. so. What side is That's it? Fair. Right, I mean, right side, left side? No, no. Left side, right side. Okay. Does it cost both? Yes. There's a lot of explaining to do because yeah. the card is never, a card like this has never been made. I think Chi was easy because it's, if you played a blue, flip it. Okay. Cool. I mean, that's it. Yeah. This is... Yeah, fair enough. Uh, well, these are two cards, and they're kind of not the same card. One's an instant. And then you let it, you know what I mean? It's just... I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Uh, to give LSS the benefit of the doubt, um, of all nitpicky. the sets to, to build a more complicated mechanic, put it in the wizard set. Because yeah. wizards are hard anyway. So, like, you may as well just go, just go chuck it out, in, right? Just chuck it in, because, like, all the in. instant stuff is going to get... All these wizard battles where people are going to be instanting on top of instant things, and you know I'm always going to come play, back. I ain't got time back. for that 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 la that life. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be that sort of thing where it's like you got complicated heroes, print some complicated mechanics because if it's they're not going to get if they can't get this, they're not going to get wizard. Uh, I would say, but I think yeah, you know I do get your point, Hamish. You got to think about this sort of thing. I'm being a little you're, bit. You're not picky. gonna you're not gonna die on this hill. I can tell. No, I'm not gonna positive. die on this hill. Split I, cards, yeah. net positive. Yeah. Uh, well, it remains to be seen. I'd like to actually yeah. hold one in my hand and see what I think yeah. when I'm actually playing the, I, the game. I I I, so I, just I think I'll. I'm not worried, but it's very it's 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 very different. So I'm a little okay. bit like yeah. Judge a bit wary. A bit, yeah, I'm wary. So just to finish then, just to finish, because I've heard so many good things about Living Legend over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you like what do you think? Firstly, what do you think about them printing a Living Legend expansion slot card? They've done it for quite a few sets now, Simon. They've done it before, they'll do it again. Wow. Yeah, they've, they've, and they've, then secondly, they've done it for where do you think <laughs> Living Legend is going? I think it's going well. Is honestly, it's I, thought in the it bin. Be, no. <laughs> I thought it would be a pretty mid format. Um, and I think I'll be, I'll be frank, I think it was. Um, but oh, there's a lot of heroes that live in live legend now. And I think when yeah. Living Legend started, it was kind of boring because there was only a few heroes that are living legends. Star now there's loads of them, <laughs> there's tons of them. Uh, what I hear is that Zen is really strong. Uh... That's a little bit boring. Uh, that Zen's really strong. Legend. I'm a bit burnt out on the um, mm. as an aggro player. Even I'm burnt out at this point on just aggro in Fab. I I I think it's have getting you, a bit. Have you seen the Arsenal Pass episode with Tarek about aggro? The, like the definition of aggro, and it was fan. No, you know, no, it was. I don't. I don't listen. To, no, 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 no. Uh, no, no. But in but in short, there was like this. <laughs> Come in, there was this conversation about what sort of aggro decks, what is an yeah. aggro deck in Fab, and Fab has kind of like three different ways. One is linear, mm. Phi Zen. One is yeah. combo, which I would say is Katsu. No, yeah, Katsu chain kind of combo. Yeah, yeah, because you've got mm. to synchronize all the stuff in the right way. And then there's like this weird go tool aggro side where it's just briar where it's channel mount heroic and it's not like a large long chain tab but it's seven into seven into seven it's like well that's a lot um and well i think everyone's one of burnt those... out with the the linear but the linear, the, the, the the, linear the, aggro, the phi yeah. zen is it's boring it's so boring there's not it's yeah. just uh, here's a lot of numbers and it's like does it matter which order you do it Wait, yeah i realized the other day as a ninja player I'm just done with Zen. Like I'm just. Well, Katsu's a combo, I... and that's why we like Viscerai. Katsu's so much fun. Like, yeah, Katsu you gotta... requires. You gotta get stuff. the right. Yeah, you gotta get it right. You know, Chain. Why did we enjoy Chain? Why did and... we enjoy Viscerai? Why did we enjoy Briar? Why did we yeah. enjoy Katsu? And I'm asking both of you this: 
And it's because you gotta, you got to get it right. You got, and yeah. then you feel so it's good not, when you do. You, you outplayed them. You out, yeah. Yeah, there's not just... And I, I just feel like... I, I said to someone the other day, I almost feel like I just want to bury my head until Zen's gone. And then come... Like... I, no, I tell you what. But it's aggro. It's aggro in general. Yeah, no, I like don't. That linear aggro. Yeah, that linear aggro. Five wasn't too well. He was bad, but he wasn't. No, he was. He was terrible. Was like I was. Also. No, no, he was. He just, was and but... I played both of them, and he was just boring. I yeah. think like... five is more. I think it was more interesting. Like I think it's. Um, I I enjoyed the five meta, but I think it was because at that point we hadn't. It was it was getting tiring by the end of five. Yeah. And then we got Zen. At Zen's has Zen suffers from us having actually gone through the whole Fi meta as well. Yeah. And then before that, it was pretty aggressive with Lightning Briar as well. Yeah. I would put Lightning Briar and I'll be honest, I kind of put Channel Mount Heroic Briar in with the <laughs> Yeah, the I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't there's ways of playing Channel Mount Heroic Briar that are a bit more interesting, like Alex Kitu with the you know the the infinity engine that he built to build like that sort of stuff is 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 great don't get me wrong but i would throw in uh i make a channel mount heroic i play all my zero costs i win the game i, I, I think then and with fire as just not that fun to play again it's yeah. not about the play like i enjoy playing aggro decks and i enjoy winning yeah games. i do they're not fun to play against they're just very very poor play experience for Unless you've you've got you've gone in with a plan, I think even people that have a plan to beat Zen don't necessarily enjoy playing against the no. game. No, uh, it seems like it's just, I, know, I think to, it, I think yeah. In order to take down, it. in order to take down Zen, requires something extremely obnoxious, like like new and new is mm. like oh just if disruption, I, just if, disruption. And, and she is kind of a very extreme disruption then which is actually mm. incredibly the, infuriating and it's like but oh, assassin is the main disruption deck we've got left like ice is no longer here like, uh, yeah we, no, we don't have anything left 100 percent. yeah but i think what fi had is he felt kind of very simple like he felt very new player friendly and his equipment mm. suite was strong he did some strong stuff but after kind of belittle went he just was like yeah. he did just die on his ass and he hasn't actually changed at all but he's just not very it's it's and not the, it's not worth it but zen's the, power of extreme damage his well is so, zen's yeah ceiling is so high it's, but it has made me realize i'm not <laughs> i'm probably not a ninja player i'm probably a katsu player like yeah well, i think i, I, no, I like I, I, i'll be honest I, think, I just think that's closer to the ninja design and I yeah. think that the the Zen design is they just they maybe just gave them too much. It's crazy to think. I'm I'm thinking like, oh yeah, Ice Icelander two is gonna come back and it's gonna wreck Zen. Yeah. It's like, well, it might do, but Zen has so many blues. Yeah, so actually, Zen can pay these taxes and can pay these costs, yeah. and he can get these discounts because of the and and it's just it it. I'm like, what like what doesn't Zen have? Like actually, yeah. what. He can it, do uh, kill it's an turns from two card hands, like and and so even against disruption, sometimes you know you block with your hat, and then you suddenly you got a three card hand again. And it, but maybe it's, that's why it's, Living it's Legend bad. is so much fun at the moment. There's a bit no, but that's the it. stupidest thing. Well, Zen's he's he's in the best legend. deck no, in Living Legend, and he's the best deck in Blitz. That's I've never had that. I've never yeah. maybe change. I don't, maybe I don't change. think you should be. Yeah, I don't think you should be allowed to play non-living legend heroes in living legend. But. Yeah, I, 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 well, keep it to the bad boys, the well, cool kids. No, the, the, the Zen, bro. I, Zen. I think honestly, it's not a whatever's happening. I'm also looking at all these Rune Blade cards. I'm gassed. I'm hyped to see it all. Ooh. I'm looking at all this wizard stuff later on. I'm gassed. I'm hyped to see it all. And then I'm just going to go, cool, that was fun. Right, let's go. Let's, let's return to real life. Yeah, it doesn't stand a chance against Zen. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it really doesn't. Even with all these cards, I go, oh, I played this thing to destroy your Zen state, and I attack you for seven. I'll go, yeah, sweet. No blocks. Get your rune chant and uh, 40 damage. Oh, in fact, yeah, I'll just block with my traverse and boots, and then I kill yeah. you. 
you the same with Florian, move. right? Like you don't have this. You, you're just not gonna have the space to set up your hero power. No, it's just like you just no. throw those games off because the hero looks so much fun. You want to play some Florian games. You want to get your engine going. And you're just gonna come up against Zen. Maybe you got a chance, well, but maybe. you can play super defensively and try and fatigue like fatigue uh, them. Like what? I mean, seriously, like the, the, making throw a Zen state on the field for free. Uh, fe- like, felling of the crown. <laughs> you, people go, oh yeah, look, yeah. you'll play it and you'll come in for eight and uh, you'll banish some cards. And then you'll make them put a card to the bottom of the deck and you'll go, oh no, wrong move. You attacked, brother. Traverse, Boots, I'll mm. get my Chi token. I'm going to get my Tiger. Yeah, fair enough. I don't have 700 cards. I've got 600 cards instead. Bro, I don't care. You're wrong. The first thing you did wrong was attack me. Now I win. Mm. And even if you go rune chance, they just make a Zen state token and then you have to do some. Oh, no, stuff. trip, trip. Wait, wait. I know, don't wait, tell them that. No, though. wait, wait. <laughs> Condemned to slaughter. You may destroy an aura you control. Yeah. If you do, each opponent destroys an aura permanent they control, yeah. trip. There's a, there's Such ways. your Z there's, state. I still lost ways. because I attacked, because traverse and. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's ways. There's ways. Uh, I think we'll be so anyway. Anyway, guys, it's been a great chat, and I think you can tell we're all kind of pretty hyped about the next. Yeah, we're back. back. We've all played Runeblade in various forms over the years. Obviously, hit Hamish, um, big Viscero fan, but me and Simon were big fans of that Earthbriar, and I think we're seeing like in Florian. Are you hyped? Actually, actually, I'm very hyped. Can I just leave this as the last question, last thing before we go? Like, yeah, not old heroes, new heroes only. Who are you yeah. most excited? Who are you going I, to play, collect, or or read into to want to build a deck? Over? You ready, Trip? Florian. One, two, Florian. Florian. <laughs> Mine is. Well, it's just that. My... It's just we got we got our Earth, our, our Earth yeah. Rune Blade back, and he's a he's a badass emo like yeah. uh, not not a Aurora, Lord. which we've established. Acilio. Aurora is. I uh, Acilio, genuinely. If I was going to learn wizards, and if I'm, I was going to learn wizard, Acilio would probably be it. That's the one. I, I would pick up Acilio. I would play a little bit of wizards with a nice, easy, easy. recycler card out my hand. But every, I, uh, like, well, I don't you know, know. I feel uh, like Florian. Others, maybe. Yeah. I feel like Florian could either be like a tall aggro deck, like that third probably example you were giving, probably, or he could just tank it. Like he can absolutely block everything. Um, I want to block, and then I want to turn on my hero ability, and then I want to do disgusting things because yeah. copying I'm... that copying is insane. That yeah. is such an insane ability yeah. to copy stuff. I I'm actually very interested in Verdance. Yeah, like, yeah Verdance. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I I like I know everyone's going. Oh, but you're a room blade. I'm like, bro, trust me. Like my first mission is get Viscera working. That everyone else feels like I've just played Viscerai. You know, I've done it. Been there. Creepers, yeah. Grasp. Yeah, I've been there, bro. Verdance, man. I don't know. It's just... just it's, it's all the right stuff. I think she's actually going to come out of the gates. I think she's probably going to be one of the better hit, one of the best heroes in the set. Interesting. I think. Like, she may be like Enigma. You know, she's act Enigma's strong. Just Zen. <laughs> <laughs> like ooh, Zen's not good. Zen. Yeah, it's just Zen. Right. Like, yeah. I think it's but go, uh, go and ask Faye to thumb your ears and we'll speak we'll speak to you soon. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to episode eighty of Push Point. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. That happened. Uh, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.